Hi, it's Anders. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the Skafla cocktail. Welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the Skafla cocktail, which is a prohibition classic with rye whiskey. Traditional recipes tend to be a little sweet in my opinion, so I'm showing you the ratios that I use, which is a little bit drier. I think you'll enjoy it, so let's get to it. To the bar. Okay, so quick story on the word Skafla. Both the drink and the word have origins during Prohibition. During the 1920s, there was a banker who was an enthusiastic supporter of Prohibition. So he wanted a term for all lawless drinkers. It was meant to be derogatory. So he held a national competition and there were over 25,000 entries. Two people came up with the word scofflaw separately. So they had to split the winnings. $200 worth of gold, not in dollars. It was in gold, which is interesting, I think. They got gold nuggets. Anyway, both these people came up with the word scofflaw, which is a compound word of ska and flaw. No, I'm kidding, it's scoff and law. So it was one who scoffs at the law, meant to be anybody who's drinking illegally. But once prohibition ended, it came to mean anybody who disregards the law, especially when it is hard to enforce, like parking tickets or petty things. Anyway, shortly thereafter in Paris, France at Harry's New York bar, the Scofflaw cocktail was born. During that time, it was common for bartenders to go overseas to find work, and American bars became popular throughout Europe. So now, let's have ourselves a Scofflaw. This cocktail is gonna be shaken, so I've got my Boston shaker, my Hawthorne strainer, a jigger, and a fine mesh strainer. I also have a knife for garnish. Uh, that's up to you. If you don't want a garnish, you don't have to. I take that back. Have a knife. Now the booze. We're gonna need high whiskey, dry vermouth, orange bitters, fresh lemon juice, and grenadine. This is my homemade grenadine. If you need a recipe, check out the video on cocktail syrups. Otherwise, if you have a favorite store-bought, you can use that. Whatever makes you happy, makes me happy. The rye I'm using is Rittenhouse 100 Proof Rye. The dry vermouth is Dolan Dry Vermouth. And the orange bitters is Regan's Orange Bitters number no. six. By the way, I'm using a smaller bottle of dry vermouth because here at home, I don't go through dry vermouth all that quickly. Get a small bottle, keep it in the refrigerator, really good for about a month and passable for two to three months. But beyond that, it really starts to go downhill, so you might wanna get rid of it. Okay, let's build. Get your glass chilling. That's, that's magic. All right, rye whiskey. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of rye whiskey. One ounce of dry vermouth. Half an ounce of lemon juice. And a quarter ounce of grenadine. And two dashes of orange bitters. Now we can add ice and shake. Double strain into the cocktail glass. Good to the last drop. There we are. Now for garnish, you can garnish with lemon oil or orange oil. The lemon will bring out the lemon juice in the cocktail and the orange oil will bring out the orange bitters. For this one, I want an orange Oil. I want an orange zest. Oh man, I've got too many things here. So I'm just gonna do an orange zest on top. And I'm just gonna cut it so it looks pretty. And then squeeze the oils on top. I'm just gonna put mine on a skewer. 
so that it's easier for me to remove and put back on if I want to. So, like that. This is my attempt at origami, like this. Just like that. Then you can just put it on and it's a little top heavy so it wants to spin. I lean it against the side so it's just like chilling at the side of your cocktail. And there it is, the scofflaw. If you look at other pictures of scofflaw, some of them are bright red. This one is really subtle pink. Uh, and that's because we're using real grenadine, which isn't overly red. And we're just using a quarter of an ounce. Other recipes will call for a half an ounce or three quarters of an ounce. But I find that if I go too heavy on the grenadine, it wipes out the subtle flavors of the dry vermouth. So I want to taste the vermouth, but you should, you should really, if you like a sweeter cocktail, then half ounce, three quarter ounce, see what you like best. This is what I like best. Boop. See, now look at I can just take the twist right off like that. Not in my face. Mmm. Yeah. I get the sweet vermouth. No, I don't get the sweet vermouth because there isn't sweet vermouth in it. I get the dry vermouth, a little bit of grenadine, the rye whiskey. Oz, would you like to try this? Mmm. Oh, that sounded really condescending. <laughs> 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 As you've had this one before. I have had this one You've had this before. before. It was delicious. Yeah. Then and it's still delicious right. now. Well, we're killing it. It's going away. I took a big gulp. Hmm. I really like it. Quite a bit. There really isn't enough sour to be like a, a really acidic sour cocktail. And so. Yeah. I mean, uh, I feel like it's tart. Yeah. But it's not harsh. Yeah. Right. If you like a whiskey sour, you should try it, but don't expect this to be a whiskey sour. It's bright though. I really think you need to make one of these and try it so you can say. Yeah, and I like the dry vermouth in there. That's about it. When have you scoffed at the law? I'm actually a, real, a, a law abiding citizen, so I don't really scoff at the law all that often, but I, let me think about this. One time in college, I aided in stealing a, I aided, I didn't even do it, but I was the getaway vehicle for stealing a pumpkin. Oh, I wouldn't even yeah. think of that as like a, I yeah. guess that you uh, you were a scofflaw. Yeah, I, I guess had a, a couple of people in, in my car, one of the guys jumped out of the back of my car and stole a pumpkin from the front of a grocery store and I was the getaway vehicle. I mean, <laughs> I feel badly. You scofflaw. I, I, yeah. Hey, do you have any unpaid parking tickets? No, I pay all my parking <laughs> tickets. I pay all my parking tickets. I also pay all of my parking tickets because I don't want my car to get booted or, yeah, you right. know. Or barnacled. Or barnacled. That's a real thing, look it Oh, up. wait, is that like that thing where they like slap something on your windshield? Yes, have you ever? Have you ever been barnacled? Have you ever <laughs> been barnacled? Yeah, no, I don't want that. Nobody wants a barnacle on there. But there is a parking spot out here that, it's actually not a parking spot. So I've gotten multiple parking tickets parking there, but everybody parks there illegally. Uh, but when I park there, I get a parking ticket and it's always the same officer. I've seen everybody else park there for like days at a time and nobody has a parking ticket and I park there for 20 minutes and, and he comes around the corner, hiding in the bushes, gives me a parking ticket. So knock it off. If you're watching this, Officer Sanders, stop giving me parking tickets or give everybody else a parking ticket. I've actually given up parking there because I, I feel like you have it out for me. I guess I'm not a scofflaw. If I'm like, all right, fine, I won't park there. Yeah, real bad boy over here. Anyway, that's it, the scofflaw. Try different ratios with the grenadine. You might like it a little bit sweeter or you might like it just the way I have it here with just a quarter of ounce. It's got big flavors like rye and lemon, but presented in a delicate way. So cheers to you and your scofflaw. Pay your parking tickets. If you like this video, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.